Hi, I'm Ben and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Our mission is to motivate you to invest for your financial freedom. Whether that means escaping the 9 to 5 drudgery or just improving your quality of life, I'm here to help you by providing you with valuable investing tips and strategies. Due to the recent global issue, the economy has been put in deep freeze. This has meant that the velocity of money and the amount that people are spending has also decreased. With the central banks lowering interest rates in a bid to stimulate the economy, bank stocks have took a major hammering. So is the world about to end? Or is this the greatest time to invest in some bargain stocks? If you believe like me that the economy will recover as it has done so many times before from previous recessions, then now could be a great time for you to start investing. Barclays Bank Group is an historic institution which traces its roots back to 1690. When John Freeme, a Quaker, and Thomas Gold started trading as goldsmiths bankers in Lombard Street, London. Barclays also launched the world's first cash machine in 1967 and the UK's first debit card in 1987. Their businesses include consumer banking and payment operations around the world. They are also a global corporate and investment bank. The recent global issue saw Barclays share price plummet by over 75%. Is the bank doomed or could this be a great turnaround investment? In this video, I'm going to give you a full analysis of the stock and detail whether this could be a great investment opportunity. As a little teaser, I purchased shares in Barclays. Let's dive in. Before we get started, go ahead, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to turn the notification bell on, that way you'll get notified when I release future videos and stock picks. It's good to be first on the scene when an interesting stock is at a great price. Central banks from around the world have unlocked trillions of dollars worth of funding to make sure the financial system stays liquid and doesn't collapse. So far, their measures seem to be working. Reduced interest rates and more liquidity will make it easier for the banks to lend. So how did Barclays perform during the previous financial crisis? During the previous financial crisis, Barclays share price fell to a tangible book value of just 10%. At the moment, Barclays share price is nearly as cheap as it was back in 2009 but now there are less risks to the banking group in general. Although Barclays share price could fall even further before getting better, at its current levels it offers a wide margin of safety. This reduces the risk and Warren Buffett would approve. So what is Barclays like compared to other banks in the sector? Barclays is one of the cheapest shares in the FTSE 100 right now and really does stand out as a true value stock. There are no other banks which offer more value on a price to tangible book value basis. Barclays stock multiple is just 0.25, which is the cheapest in the FTSE 100 index. Barclays share price is also cheaper than many of the other large UK banks, such as Lloyds and RBS. These banks have a price to book value ratio of 0.6 and 0.4, compared to Barclays 0.25. Deep diving into Barclays shares, we can see that it's currently trading at 55% below its fair value, with its earnings forecast to grow at 16.69% per year, and its previous earnings grew by over 54% during the past year, which is incredible. Looking at the risks, we can see it had a highly volatile share price over the past three months, which would be expected due to the global issue and its massive effect on the entire stock market. It also says there's some large assets impacting its financial performance. We will investigate those further. Moving on to the stock's valuation, we can see that it's currently trading at 91 pence a share, which is 55% undervalued compared to its fair value, which is calculated by the software of approximately 
two pounds a share. This means it's significantly below fair value and thus a great value stock. Checking out the stock's price to earning ratio, you can see it's great value compared to the UK market. Looking at its price to earnings growth ratio, you can also see it's great value at just 0 0.4. Moving on to the price to book ratio, we can see Barclays has great value at just 0 0.2 compared to the British banking industry average of 0 0.5, whereas RBS and Lloyd's TSB are 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. So it's definitely a great value stock. Moving on to future growth, we can see it's got forecasted future growth of 16.7%, which is great. Future return on equity, past performance, 47.5% historic annual earnings growth. Return on assets, capital employed. Financial health. Now, this is a really, really important part which you need to check before investing into any stock. You need to look at the levels of debt which the company has before investing. Now, this is a major risk with this banking stock. As you can see, its short-term liabilities are higher than its short-term assets, which is not a good sign. However, in the long term, its assets are greater than its liabilities, which is a good sign. So, on balance, it is a risk in the short term. And if the bank can weather the storm, which is ensuing at the moment, then it definitely has potential to survive and thus continue growth. Checking out the bank's dividend, we can see it's got a nice healthy dividend of 8.45%, which is great. Moving on, we can see it's got an experienced management, an experienced board, which is always a good sign. Insider trading, now this is a really, really important part to check when valuing a company before investing. Now, obviously insiders in a business have more knowledge than those on the outside. So if they have faith in their company, they will be purchasing shares. If they don't have faith, they will be selling more. So what you need to look is if there's more buys than sells. And as you can see with Barclays, there's been a lot of purchases over the past couple of months. Now, there was a couple of sell-offs early in February, quite significant sums. But as this crisis has continued, we can see there's been a lot of share purchases from inside the company which is always a great sign. However, you also need to be aware that some companies will do this in order to falsely inflate the share price and then sell off. So just be aware of that before investing. Well, it's unlikely that any of these banks will remain unscathed from the global issue. They are still in a far better position than they were back in 2008 and 2009 during the financial crisis. Barclays is likely to suffer some further turbulence in the short term. But over the long term, I believe it will remain as one of the top UK banking institutes. Another credit for Barclays is its transatlantic presence, which gives it a slight edge over other banking institutes in the UK. This should really value the company slightly higher rather than slightly less. Be sure to check out my other videos where I analyse five stocks I purchased during the previous stock market crash, which has seen me up by £1,000 in just seven days. Now, as a long-term investor, this increase doesn't really make a difference to me, but it's still nice to watch your portfolio grow over such a short period of time. This suggests a possible V-shaped recovery from this recession. I also have a video reviewing the free trading apps which make it really easy to get started investing. I've included a couple links below which will give you a free share when you sign up. But remember, on this channel, we don't give financial advice. So please evaluate the stock yourself, research it yourself, assess your own investing goals and your own budget. Before investing into any stock we mention on this channel. I would love to know your thoughts on Barclays as a business and as a stock. So please do comment your thoughts below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, smash that like button and definitely subscribe. Now I will leave you with this classic banking joke. 
a local bank set up a cash machine inside a tree. If successful, they plan to expand to other branches. See you next time.